So the Utah Jazz have just signed Ursan Ilyasova, who spent last year with the Buckaroos, spent the, spent the beginning of the season on some team out in Turkey, and if you've ever watched the FIBA World Cups, you know that man is a legend out in Turkey, because oh boy was he giving Team USA buckets. And my first reaction to them signing him was, he's old as hell, he's washed, what does this matter? But then I started thinking, let me think back to what was going on with him on the Bucks last year. And I did a quick Google search. He's only 33 years old. Generally speaking, that's like the end of your prime in the NBA. Like, you're still basically at your peak powers. Like, 34, 35 is when you start to decline a little bit. So he's not nearly as old as I thought he was. And honestly, for the Buckaroos last year, he had some good moments. He had some good contributions. And I first started this channel, like, midway through the playoffs of the bubble. And the Buckaroos at that time, I wasn't getting any views, so no one watched this pretty much. But the Buckaroos, they were getting spanked around by the Heat. And I was saying, Bonin Holzer, why aren't you at least giving Ersan Elias over a shot out there? He got no minutes in the playoffs, but for the Jazz, I think he could be a contributor. 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 I think he could have a contribution because the one thing I've said about this Jazz team is... I like their style. I love the ball movement. I love how they be splashing threes. I think Donnie Mitchie can lead a great playoff team. You know, I like me some Roadster. I like what they got going, but... Gorgeous Niang. Although Niang is gorgeous, I don't know if I trust him in a big playoff series. He's gotten his three-point shooting up to 38.5%, but he's a little chunky. What else can he do besides shoot spot-up threes? I don't really know. Honestly, the best comparison to Gorgeous Niang is Ursan Ilyasova. He's kind of a younger version of Ursan Ilyasova, although Ursan Ilyasova has much more to his game. But basically, Gorgeous Niang was like a post player in college, which Ursan Ilyasova naturally is a post player team uh, in FIBA World Cup against Team USA. He was given the post work and the buck getting bu buckets with post work. So they're similar players. But Ursan Ilyasova just has more to his game and he's a little bit more used to the limelight. You know, Gorgeous Niang, when I was watching the Jazz playoffs last year, when he was still getting thrown out there, I just felt like that is not someone you want to have out there. And I feel like he's gotten better. So you could have him out there this year, and maybe it'll be better. But it, that wasn't the first time. I remember it was uh, the first round series against the Rockets, and they were throwing Niang out there, and I was just thinking, this doesn't look good. I would rather have Grayson Allen out there. So me, I'm not someone that's going to trust Niang. So Ursula Ilyasova, I'm not saying he's going to go in and absolutely wipe away Niang's minutes because he's been getting fairly consistent minutes this year, but he hasn't been able to do anything besides shoot threes. And come playoff time, if they get in his shorts a little bit, at an NBA level, I know he has more to his game in terms of college. He was basically a post player, but I don't. they're not feeding him in the post, and I don't think he has what it takes to buy anybody. And Ursula Ilyasova, at least, he's going to be able to splash threes as Niang does, but he gives you stuff on the other end too. This man's one of the best charge takers in NBA history. He's just crafty, and he's had playoff moments, you know? He was on, like, but originally on Bucks playoff team, I believe, with uh, Brandon James and Monte Ellis. You know, they didn't go far or anything, but, you know, he has a little experience. And then uh, the Philadelphia 76ers, their one run, a lot of it was credited to pay, getting, uh, who did they pick up? They pick up J.J. Redick and Ersan Ilyasova. So having those shooters, and Ilyasova had some good moments. So I think this is a good pickup for Jazz, and it's not going to get the hype of, Blake Griffin to the Nets, but honestly, Ursan Ilyasova, we'll have to see if Blake Griffin could turn it around, but right now, watching the way Blake Griffin's played the past couple years, Ursan Ilyasova isn't much less of a, a lesser of a player than Blake Griffin at this point. It's just Blake Griffin has the name. But Ursan Ilyasova, it's possible that he'll ride the bench as he did for the Bucks last year, but honestly, he's still he's only 33 years old. He's still got stuff in the tank, and my prediction, you know you have to see what, what he looks like getting back to the NBA this year, of course. But honestly, what I've seen over the years, I would rather have him out there in playoff moments than Gorgeous Niang. But we'll see what happens. Jazz fans, let me know what y'all think about this. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.